Hello, welcome to lesson 60, Stream Input and Output, brought to you by Anchor Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn what is Stream Input and Output Operations. Right now, we'll understand what is, C what is Stream first. C Sharp includes following standard input and output classes to read or write from different resources like file, memory, network and isolated storage. In the sense, if you want to write something to the file which is stored in the folder then must and should we should make use of the stream class to do that work and let us understand what stream is first you can observe your system.io.stream it's an abstract class that provides standard methods to transfer bytes to the source in the sense if you want to read or if you want to write something to the file then must and should we should make of this stream class and keep in mind that stream class is present in system.io namespace okay classes that need to read and write bytes from a particular source must implement the stream class in the sense you can observe here the following classes inherit stream class to provide functionality to read and write bytes from a particular source for example we have a file stream class here okay and what it does is it reads or bytes writes bytes from or to a physical file whether it is a txt, exe or jpg or any other file, file stream is derived from the stream class. In the sense, to understand it very clearly, I am having an image which explains that. For example, uh, as I said, stream class helps you to read and write to a physical file and it is having two methods called stream reader and stream writer. Okay. Now, let us understand file stream first. What, what is this file stream? Now, if I if I want to write something to this physical file, then using this stream writer, what I'll do is I'll pass that string, uh, I'll write the string and that string will be converted into bytes with the help of stream writer and that bytes will be passed to file stream and file stream will take that bytes and it writes into the physical file. Okay, this is how the stream writer works and coming back to the stream reader, if, if someone wants to read something from this file, okay, then how it works, the file stream reads the content which is present in this file and it convert into bytes later that bytes are, are given to stream reader stream reader converts that string that's that bytes into string okay this is how the stream class works and also the file stream class works right now we'll jump back into the slide where we left okay this is how the stream class and the file stream class uh, work and now we have some other classes uh, like memory stream, buffer stream. If you want to read something or write something to the memory part or a buffer stream part, then we should make use of this class. Okay. And network stream, pipe stream, and crypto stream. These are the uh, classes which generate stream class to do the read and write operations. And here is the clear hierarchy. As of, can you observe? You can observe. Of, of a stream class like a stream class is inherited to these respective classes like crypto stream memory stream file stream buffered isolated storage and pipe stream to do the read and write operations okay and now let us understand we understood what is stream class it is an abstract class which helps us to read and write to a respective uh, file memory stream or whatever it is etc and that stream class consists of certain methods like stream reader stream writer binary reader and binary writer what is the stream reader like stream reader is a helper class for reading characters from a string by converting bytes into characters using an encoded value it can be used to read strings from from different stream like file stream and memory stream okay now stream writer it helps to write on the physical file Similarly, the binary reader is a helper class for reading primitive data type from bytes. Binary writer, binary writer writes primitive types into binary. Now we are going to concentrate on only these two things like stream reader and stream writer. And here is the image as I explained earlier. Now uh, once we code, later we'll come into this image and once again ex I'll explain how it works. Now without wasting much time, let's invoke the Visual Studio. Now what I what is my objective is for um, I'm a uh, in in the drive called in the e drive i'm having a folder called read and write here i'm having a dot txt file let me open this currently i have written something called hello world and let me open it again currently nothing is there in this dot txt file now what shall we do is with the help of stream writer let me write something to this to this txt file demo dot txt file now what shall we do is now first thing we have to do is uh, let me create two methods okay one method is going to write and other method is going to read public void 
write for file the method name is okay and let me create another method like read public void read for file is the method name okay and now let us do with the write write for file first okay how do I write uh, something to the file it is with the help of stream writer let me call that stream writer first okay now it is showing a red squiggly because that is not uh, present here the namespace is not present of the particular class let me add the namespace you can observe the stream writer is present in using system.io when I added it the red squiggly is no more there it's gone let me create an object of that class uh, let me give it as writer is equal to new stream writer and here I have to give the file path you can observe it's having the eight variations and it's asking the file path let me give the file path of it uh, um, where did I store that I've stored in a folder in a let me copy the address of it okay control C and let me paste it here and the file name was demo.txt let me add that demo dot txt and this is the file path I have to add at at the starting okay then only it will be considered as the file path okay now writer okay now I have created a object of the stream writer using that object let me access the methods called uh, write you can observe write line now what I what I what I want to write to this particular file is let me write um, a string called hello world okay done I did it and now let me close that method let me close the string uh, stream writer there is a method called close okay now what did I do I just wrote um, I just wrote called hello world a string to the file called demo.txt now let me build it okay the build uh, succeeded the build has started and it gets succeeded okay done now what did I do I just wrote something to the file now let me go to the read for file okay read for file now if I want to read uh, something uh, this hello world from this demo.txt what I have to do is I have to invoke a class called I have to call a class called stream reader and it's present in system.io namespace let me give the object name as reader is equal to new stream reader okay for this also I have to give the file path so what I'll do is I'll just copy and I'll paste it here control V and reader dot uh, if I want to read then I have a read to end method which reads complete which reads the complete document okay then reader dot let me close that let me close once it is read let me close that method let me close that uh, finalize that object okay now what did I do is you can observe very clearly I'm having two methods public void write for file and public void read for file and that's what we did it here with the help of stream writer and stream reader now what I have to do is I have to invoke these two methods and confirm whether the stream writer has written hello world to that demo.txt and I have to other and I have to con also confirm whether it is reading from that file so what I'll do is in order to call this file let me make this file static first um, static and here also let me make static okay now uh, let me call the first let me uh, let me write something to the file then read it okay now let me call the write for file okay and let me call the read for file method okay now in, in, in order to read what I have to do is I have to pass it to the console dot write line control X and let me paste it here control V okay my job is done what did I do is with the help of stream writer and stream reader I wrote the hello world onto the text on the demo dot text and I'm reading it using the stream reader now when I run this program control fi what is doing it's it's printing hello world in the sense it has written 
hello world to the demo.txt file then it has read that hello world now to confirm let us go back to the folder where I've stored that file demo.txt if I open this txt file there should be a string called hello world in the sense yes our stream class has done its work okay and that's what we wanted and that's what we learned in this session we wrote two methods one is for write another one for read with the help of stream writer and stream reader we did the we did um, we write we wrote and we read it from we read it with the help of stream classes stream class okay and now jumping back to presentation here is a image okay now um, in the presentation we may we wrote hello world uh, to the file demo.txt let us understand with the help of image here in the stream writer class what I do I just invoke the I just created an object to that object I pass the file path later using the write line method I wrote uh, uh, hello world okay when I when I write something uh, hello world what is the stream writer class is going to do is it converts that string to bytes and it give it and it gives to the file stream file stream later uh, write uh, writes that uh, bytes into the physical file that's what exactly happens okay now it's written hello world to this physical file now if I want to read read it back what I have to do is I have to make use of the stream reader what is the stream reader is going to do first okay this file stream file stream is going to get that bytes that hello world in the form of bytes and it's converting into string okay once it is converting into string it is taken by the stream reader and it is read on the console screen and that's what exactly works in the stream class and that's the beauty of stream class and that's the beauty of these two methods also stream reader and stream writer and that's what we learned in this session what is stream class and what are the methods stream writer and stream writer and what is file stream and finally thank you for listening have a great day Please subscribe to Anchor Training below and don't forget to give the feedback.